Problem 2-1-A, Part 3, The Final Act. If you remember, we started with a bunch of transactions. From that, we created this, which we said was complete, but not very useful. Then we went to the journal. So we went from the transactions to the journal. We took the journal entries. We sorted them out into ledger accounts. We came up with all those balances. I have indicated those with those red checks. That's the balance in the ledger account for cash, receivables, supplies, etc. Now, those numbers are no good to us at all unless they're accurate. Hence, we need to try the balance. We have to test the balance. We have to go through and make sure that the numbers we have reflect reality. So here's all our accounts. And we're going to go through and we're going to list these accounts, list the balances that we have, and try to see if we have the numbers in the right spot. Have we observed the rules of debit and credit? And are they in the right amount? So if we go to the cash account, we'll find, I carefully just covered it up, 59,465. So that's our cash account, 59. 465. And our accounts receivable, 4,490. And again, going back to the ledger, because that's what we're doing. We're trying the balance in the ledger. And I'm going to office supplies, 4,200. Then I'm going to look at prepaid insurance and prepaid rent. I have 4,200 or 2,400, excuse me. My recreational dyslexia is kicking in. Prepaid insurance, 2,400. Pre prepaid rent, 9,000. You get the idea. I'm not going to keep flipping pages and trying to make you seasick. Now I have 34000 in office equipment. Now, here's where you have to be careful. Accounts payable. It does not carry a debit balance. It carries a credit balance. $600. Common stock also is not an expense, an asset, or a dividend. So it carries a credit balance of $100 and 6,000. Dividends are the D in dead. Debits for expenses, assets, and dividends, and the dividends in this case were 5,500. Revenue is not an expense, an asset, or a dividend. Therefore, it carries a credit balance, 12,890, and utility Expense, that's the E in dead, carries a debit balance of 435. Okay, now, these are all the balances from the ledger account. You add up both sides. You do not add up one side and copy it over. That proves nothing. You add up both sides individually. And if they balance, as these do, that means that you have copied all of the numbers correctly, or at least you've copied an equal number of debits and credits, and that they equal. So the trial balance balances. And from the trial balance, is where we'll create our financial statements. So, we started with the transactions. We then went to the general journal. We went from the journal to the ledger. We went from the ledger to the trial balance. And from the trial balance, we will make some adjustments coming up in chapter two 
and create our financial statements.